Hello and welcome to podcast episode 71 of the Empowered by Design podcast. I am Dr. Liz. I am your host. I am so, so thankful for you tuning in today to this podcast episode. If this is your first one, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. I'm thinking that you were uh, pulled in by the title that we will be engaging today in a guided meditation together. And I'm going to talk a little bit first, just give you a little bit of background information about the meditation and meditation in general. Um, And just to say welcome. Welcome to the podcast, Empowered by Design. I'm your host, Dr. Liz, a licensed psychologist and owner of Visionistas by Design Wellness Boutique in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. This podcast is about the power of connection and a proactive approach to mental health and overall wellness. It's about finding and owning your power right now and using it for good by nurturing the connection of body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit. Empowered by Design Podcast delivers psychological concepts and practical strategies with a real-life approach. Designed to empower health and wellness, optimal performance, authentic connection with yourself and others, and purposeful, joyful living. Be well. Live empowered. Dream Design Deliver. Welcome, 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 welcome. If you are returning, thank you. Thank you for coming back. This life is busy and there is so much (laughs) to listen to, to read, to watch, to absorb. I am so thankful, so grateful that you have chosen to spend some time with me today. Thank you, thank you. Um, This is an exciting idea that I had has been marinating in my mind to incorporate guided meditation into the podcast. Um, It is something, meditating is something that I have been doing for quite some time now. Um, Well, for me, (laughs) quite some time, because if you know me, I have lots of ideas. Some of them stick, some of them don't. Um, but this one has stuck and stuck well, and it has literally changed my life for sure. I started meditating regularly, um, almost two years ago, I would say. And what I did was I would kind of fit it into my day wherever I could find time, space, energy to do that. And of course we know that (laughs) that's tricky, Um, but I was finding, I was, I was very committed and I was meditating every day. So when I say started, I would say started regularly practicing it for, um, meditating and guided meditations. I have been, um, enjoying for, for very, for years when I started my education program, this was something that I learned, Um, quickly that was really, really helpful, not only for myself, but for my clients and uh, workshops that I ran and presented when I was in training and then in my own practice. And I have made meditation practice, whether it's, you know, three minutes here or longer, a, a regular part of my practice for myself and, and in my work. Last week was World Meditation Day, so we're a little late on it, but that's okay because meditation is helpful whenever we do it, whenever, whenever, whenever. Um, What happened to me was that I decided then to make it the first part of my day. So if you've heard me before, you may have heard me talk about the importance of starting my day off, starting our day off with us. So um, I am definitely raising my hand as one of those people who was like, oh, I cannot add one more thing into my morning routine. There's no way I hop out of bed. 
that. I get ready. It takes me forever. I have to do lunch. I have to help this one. I have to help that one. We have to get on the bus and got to get to work. And I'm a just kind of go, go, go kind of person. And so for me, this was such a different approach to life to ease into my day which it's so beautiful. As I say it, I'm thinking, how did I not do this years ago? Um, But in 2021, January 1st, there was on the app that I use, which is the Insight Timer app. I will link that in the show notes. Uh, There was a 30-day guided meditation, morning meditation challenge. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm going to try this. I can do this for 30 days. And I have been doing a morning morning meditation, but also morning routine ever since. And since starting that and really just recognizing the power of spending the first several minutes of my day in quiet reflection, meditation, I've added in journaling and praying and reading, and I have loved it. Um, Certain days I have more time than others. Certain time, certain days I need more time than others to actually do, you know, just once I start writing sometimes, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful outlet. So if you, so these are, the, these are lots of different things. As you're hearing me talk about what I do, I also encourage you to Try something that you love. Start with, if you have two minutes, if you have two minutes, I know it's hard to find time. Believe me, you heard me say I raised my hand. Um, And a busy mom, a busy woman, a busy person. I've always been busy. (laughs) My mom used to sing, be patient, be patient. Don't be in such a hurry. I've always been in a hurry. Always. From the time I was little. So, um, you know, I cannot blame it on being a mom. (laughs) It's just who I am. So for me, it's been lovely to at least slow down in one aspect of my day and to really think about that. Think about the symbolic meaning of giving yourself a few minutes in the beginning of your day just for you. For you in something that is nurturing for you, body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit. Think about how powerful that can be in your life. Um, We spend a lot of time caring for others and attending to tasks and responsibilities. And if you can start your day with you, more power to you. It's magnificent. Now, you can also end your day with you. So I was at a conference last week when we talked specifically about how do you fit caring for yourself, self-care into your day. It was with other psychologists, other uh, mental health professionals, and it's hard for everyone, right? So all we all sat in a circle and we're like, it's hard to do. It's hard to make the time. And so some of us... Um, have found a way, whether it's in the beginning of the day, the end of the day, or different activities, hiking and uh, swimming and just spending time in nature, spending time with family, all, all these things are things that you can do to nurture your soul and all of the things and take care of yourself. Um, so today we're going to get into a guided meditation, a body scan. So when you hear me say body mind, heart, soul, and spirit. I truly believe, and this is not just something I believe, this comes from research and models of wellness that we are, we are so, we are complex and lovely beings. And when you can attend to yourself physically, physically your body, um, externally, what you are able to do, the things that your body does for you, the things that you feel inside of your body, um, the sensations and the the pleasure, the pain, the good, the bad, the comfortable, the uncomfortable. When you can tune in and recognize, you truly can feel better, feel more joy, feel more peace and balance. So today we talk about the body 
and we, our bodies hold on to our experiences. They, whether good, bad, whether they're, when we label them, we judge them. I know I, I say, let's not judge. Let's be curious, not judgmental. But I mean, we do love to do it as human beings. It's really easy. And it's kind of comes really natural to be like, oh, that was good. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was comfortable. Um, so I will again, of course, invite you to welcome your experiences without the judgment and if you find the judgment creeps in, then you rem- you can remember that you're human like all of us. But when we can tune into our bodies and recognize what's happening, we can learn from them. We can learn about what we may be feeling emotionally or spiritually or, or where our body holds our stress, where our body holds our, our pleasure and our excitement, right? And so... That is my goal for you here, for all of us in this meditation, is to guide you through a body scan. And I invite you to do this meditation, this practice, which we'll get into very shortly, I promise. When you, wherever you are, the only, the only place I would not recommend that you do this is while you are driving or operating some kind of machinery that needs your your 100% attention, but otherwise you can be standing, you can be showering, you can be sitting, you can be lying down, you can be walking. Um, this is, this is your body. This is your body and appreciate your body for what it does. Sometimes we can be really harsh and mean to our bodies. We don't like the way they feel or look or look in this outfit or that outfit or that mirror or the the number that pops up on the scale. Um, Think of the lovely things, the wonderful things your body has done, is doing for you right in this moment, breathing for you, circulating the blood through your body, telling you things, sustaining you what your body has done, what your body is doing, and what your body can and will do. The more that you nurture and are kind to your body, the kinder it will be to you. Truly, truly. Okay, so we are going to get into the meditation. I will come back in after the meditation and wrap up. And right now, I just invite you to get comfortable wherever you have chosen to be for this practice and enjoy it. I invite you to do this often, whether it is this meditation or others. There are plenty of others. Again, I will link um, the Insight Timer app in the show notes. I am a teacher there, so you can follow me there. You can hear this meditation and other ones that I've recorded there as well. And I will see you soon. We'll be back after the meditation. Welcome to the Golden Light Meditation, Guided Meditation. Before we get started, I invite you to find a comfortable space, a comfortable position in your space, free of distraction if possible, and allow yourself to Sit comfortably in an upright position or lay down, whatever is comfortable for you. You will hear the chime, the starting bell at the beginning, and the chime at the end to signal the end of the meditation exercise. Allow your eyes to close as you welcome this time and space for you to gather your awareness in your body, 
honoring your body, honoring your breath that brings life and sustains life without even thinking about it. So just notice your breath now in your space. And as you notice your breath, allow yourself to slow it down, taking a deep breath and letting it go. Allowing your hands to rest wherever they feel comfortable for you. You can rest them on your lap, palms down or palms up. You can rest them beside you. You can place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, so that you can feel the breath coming in and out of your body. You can put both hands on your heart. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. Whatever feels most comfortable to you. And now as you tune in to your body, allow yourself just to notice, to take a scan of what's happening in your body. You can start at the top of your head Pull your attention to the crown of your head, scanning down through your forehead, your jaw, your face, into your neck and your shoulders. Notice as you go through the parts of your body any pressure, tension, energy, pleasure, pain. Continue down your shoulders and down your left arm, through your elbow into your wrist, your fingers, and move to the other arm, noticing, just scanning for pressure, tension, sensation in your body as you move down the arm into your fingers. Notice the temperature. As you bring your attention back to your shoulders, your neck, your chest, moving down through your torso. Noticing your breath, allowing it to flow freely. Notice if you hold it, if you catch it. Moving down through your abdomen into your pelvic region, through your hips, into your thighs. the base of your spine, down through your knees, your calves, your ankles, and your toes. And now together we will welcome 
a warm golden light in your mind's eye you can picture yourself looking at the golden sun warm and radiant bright but just the right amount of light for you. Feel the warm glow on your face. It's safe and comfortable. And welcome that light. Welcome that glow into your face, into the top of your head as it's showering its light, warmth, energy into your body, spilling in with radiance and energy. Going to the places in your body that need it most. So again, starting at the top of your body, welcoming the glow, showering down through your head, into your face, your jaw. And as the energy, the light travels through your body, it brings with it a healing warmth, an energizing warmth. It knows just what your body needs. It knows just where your body needs it. Allow the glow to swirl through your neck, through your shoulders, down your back, down your chest. As you breathe in the glowing energy of this light, radiant, warm, powerful, calming, and soothing. Allow it into your arms, into the muscles, into the bones, into the ligaments, bringing energy, healing, soothing, glowing energy. Even picture it in your mind's eye, moving through the spaces of your body, through your chest, your lungs, your heart, inside and out, bringing comfort, bringing peace and calm. as it continues through your belly, swirling around your ribs, your back, down your spine, going to those places that need it most. And only you know when you tune in to your body where the pressure, where the tension, where the pain may be. Welcome the light, welcome the glow, down through your hips, into your legs, moving at a pace that is comfortable and safe 
as it continues to go down through your legs, through your knees, your calves, your ankles, and your toes. Even wiggle your toes, feel that energy. And breathe. Allowing that glow, that light to travel inside your body to the places that need it most. As you continue to breathe and feel the energy in your body and in your spirit. Take this glow, this energy the warmth, the calm, the peace with you throughout the rest of your day. Allow the light to bring a smile to your face. Namaste. Welcome back. I invite you to take a little bit of time to whew, come back to your space after that practice. It can be helpful to ease back in to awareness, to full conscious focus and attention, to also spend some time reflecting on the practice and what it was like for you. Here's where you can bring in the judgment, meaning, was that easy? Was that difficult? What did I feel? What did I notice? Where did my mind go during that practice? What emotions came up for me? How did I use this to also tune into my soul? Hmm. Do I feel more closely connected to my spirit, to the universe, to divinity? You may even spend some time journaling, writing down thoughts, reflections, reactions that you had. If it was difficult for you, I invite you to try again. Maybe you can come back to this one in the future. There are plenty of tons, tons, thousands of meditation practices. I always talk about the Insight Timer app because I love it. I use it. It's free. Um, there's also a paid version, but you can access thousands and thousands of talks and meditations, practices for free on the app and again follow me there let's connect there as well um there are live events there as well and there's tons of other places um my sister-in-law just sent me another um, resource to this week a couple days ago for meditation so you can find it so many places um and i invite you to find the one that works for you and when you find it, keep coming back. Make this a regular practice. Make this part of your day. There are so many studies out there to tell us how helpful this can be for us, for our brains, for our bodies, for our hearts, our, our emotional health and wellness. So it's great. It's great. Um... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and for being with me, for connecting with me here. 
please share this episode. Um, When we think of gifts that we can give to our friends and our family, this is a great one. It really, truly is. And I invite you to share this. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for taking the time to spend some time with yourself, spend some time with me. I truly, truly appreciate the energy that you send back. So send a thought out to me. Um, I would love to receive that. And if you have a few extra moments, if you could leave a review, um, that would be so wonderful. It truly, truly is helpful to spread the love and share this power with others to help this podcast grow and reach more people. Help us all get well, right? To get well, to be well, to stay well, and to feel empowered. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I cannot wait to connect with you again next time. Take care. Thank you for connecting on this episode of the podcast, Empowered by Design. For further connection, subscribe to my email list at drliz.com to be sure that you are in the loop for exciting news, events, and resources. You can also follow me on social media at Dr. Liz and at Visionistas by Design. I invite you to subscribe to this podcast and send this episode to one of your people in order to share the love spread the power. This podcast is designed to inspire, educate, and empower you to pursue your dreams with intentional vision. This podcast is not meant to be a substitute for psychological treatment or a working relationship with a licensed mental health professional. For more information on connecting with mental health resources in your area, visit drliz.com and click on resources. Thank you again for connecting and remember, trust the heart, work your vision, dream, design, deliver.